something about riding a motorcycle that makes me be able to shed all of life's complexities and problems and issues. They call me Long Haul Paul. Paul Palant earned that name as a long distance motorcycle rider. In 2003, he was in the middle of an 11 day endurance competition when he noticed something was wrong. My hands were numb, tingling, um, but I was having a lot of issues with confusion and uh, memory. I had, I had forgotten about where I, where I had been the day before. It wasn't long after that that he learned that he had multiple sclerosis. He thought that his riding days were done. I sold my motorcycles, I, I, uh, I sold my company. I, I honestly thought that uh, I'd be in a wheelchair in, in, in a couple of years, I mean, uh, MS. A few years passed and Paul realized his health wasn't deteriorating as quickly as he thought. It was then that he rekindled an old love while finding a new mission. I was at a, listening to a doctor speak and, and he said, um, he was answering a question from the audience and he says, well, he says, you know, honestly, I think a, a cure for MS is a million miles away. I just said, a million miles? Well, you know, that's far, but it's doable. I can ride a million miles or at least maybe I should try. So that's where I came up with the idea to, to document a million miles for MS. Well, got a little bit of snow and ice up here, but I'm just gonna go real slow so I don't get blown off the edge of the mountain. Well, here we are, just getting out of town and uh, there's a desert's right there, the mountains in front of us, the beautiful cotton candy sky, south of the border. Again, I'm a little worried about the wind. I've had patients say to me, you don't have MS. You must have a thyroid condition. No, I have MS. Um, a lot of us have symptoms that we don't show, that you can't see. Um, you know, with me, it's memory problems, it's cognition, it's, you know, I, I, I can't get out of a mall parking lot without a GPS. Despite the challenges, Paul has logged 300,000 miles in five years, chasing a cure. a motorcycle especially long distance and when you ride a motorcycle often you're able to get into a zone or that mode of where you're just concentrating on the road the smells and the, uh, the temperature changes and uh, the traffic and your body is, is one with the machine all of those miles have been to MS events fundraisers motorcycle rallies you name it Paul will travel there to spread his message this, he says, is his calling. My main purpose is to, to try to encourage them, to uh, challenge them, to find something that they love to do in their life, to make that more important than their disease. To me, it's a mission. To me, it's a, you know, um, this, is, this is what I'm supposed to do. You know, your average rider will go through a set of tires every two years. Yeah, it's about right. And, and so it's not a big deal, but for somebody like me, I have to think about, you know, where am I going in the next two weeks? Am I going to have enough tread on the tire? Paul has to be ready for all elements and all surprises that life and mother nature can throw at him when he's out on the road. That means suiting up with the right gear and making sure his bike has everything he needs for weeks on the road. This is a, a Yamaha Super Tenere that I'm riding. Um, it's uh, kind of an adventure touring bike. My bags are filled with uh, spare parts, tools, um, a little bit of clothes, and uh, usually my laptop, computer, whatever I need to, to do a presentation. Um, I do have a uh, auxiliary fuel tank here 
which um, basically extends the, the range that I can ride each day. Custom seat, heated hand grips, foot pegs to stretch out his legs. This bike is Paul's home away from home and the trusty companion he relies on to get him safely and comfortably from point A to point B. Being on the road means lots of meals and diners, so we stopped into the Red Arrow in Londonderry for a bite and to talk to a member of Paul's health care team to get his medical opinion on this journey. First thing that came to mind is uh, fatigue is a big problem with MS. Uh, and so, you know, I was thinking, okay, well, maybe he'll do, you know, you know 200 miles here, 200 miles there. You know, that's, that's a reasonable amount of mileage for a motorcycle. Try 5,000 over a long weekend. It was realizing that when I got off the bike and I went home and I had a week where I wasn't riding or something is when um, I realized that uh, my MS was affecting me more. It just got me thinking about, you know, um, how activity or doing something that we love to do in life can really circumvent some of our physical issues. I always try to tell people that you should ignore your diagnosis until you're forced to pay attention to it and then go back to living your life as soon as it's been tucked in again. He even got his doctor to write him a prescription. He calls it moto medicine and has no plans to stop following his doctor's orders anytime soon. One of the things as I travel alone all across the country is um, I find so many people that are willing to help me, you know, that or, or want to learn about my story or where I'm coming from, where I'm going. This country is filled with great people and, um, you know, it takes a road trip sometimes to find them. Um, but I do, I do get to meet incredible people. for a cure. Yeah, I think that um, by the time I reach my million miles, I think we will either have a cure or know, know where a cure is going to come from, um, the path to the, that cure. I do. I think, um, I think we're getting there.